Now, you don't always find high school athletes that play three different sports, let alone excel at all three. One former standout at Lee Davis did just that. It was good enough to continue one of those sports at the college level. It was there he discovered the difference between what he wanted to do and what he was meant to do. On any given evening, out in the Hanover wilderness, almost to where cell service will not reach, you can hear the rhythmic beats of a national champion toiling to improve in his chosen sport. Well, if you listen, you don't hear much. It's a good place to concentrate and focus on practicing and getting better. And I mean, you can't beat the scenery. On the edge of a field owned by a family friend, Andrew Surgeon has made himself a crude and secluded spot for his timber sports practice and for working out any aggression. There's nothing like, you know, taking the seven, eight pound ax and just swinging as hard as you can into a piece of wood. His location makes it easy to focus and to gather new pieces of wood once he has laid waste to the previous log. As a student at Lee Davis, Sergeant played all three of the more traditional sports, excelling in baseball as a first baseman. When he left for college at West Virginia, he walked on to the Mountaineers baseball team, but his stay did not last, admittedly, due to some personality conflicts within the program. Eventually, I, baseball got uh, more aggravating than it was fun for me. So the wood science and technology major got turned on to timber sports, where competitors are timed on how fast they can get through various pieces of wood. After two informal tryouts with a professional, Surgeon was encouraged to swing a different kind of stick. And then when I came home for Christmas, I told everybody I was chopping wood, and they were like, are you crazy? Why are you doing that? What is that? I've never heard of that. All of his friends and family now know exactly what timber sports are. Andrew Sargent. Andrew went to the collegiate championships all four years he was at West Virginia, never placing lower than third, but never winning until this past spring. First year I came in third. I was just happy to be there. I didn't know what was going on, but it was a cool experience. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gut-wrenching to get so close and then just let it, and just not get there. You know, you're almost at the top of the mountain and then all of a sudden you just, man, you just fall right back down. Well, this year it all clicked and just the feeling of finally getting that, getting the weight off your shoulders of, man, I should have won this the last three years. Sergeant now gets a spot on the national team for the World Relay Championships held in the Czech Republic in November and will be finishing his degree in the next few months as well. He has many friends from high school and college who stuck with baseball and are now playing professionally. Every once in a while, he catches himself wondering what might have happened had he not switched sports. I played with some guys who got signed to play in the major league, and they're making a lot of money. <laughs> but now I'm not saying that would ever happen for me, but that would have been pretty cool. You know, it's, it's not the number one thing. The friends I've made are worth the, the baseball contract that I didn't, didn't get or didn't try to get. And I've had, I've had enough fun to be satisfied and not look back and regret. You can watch Andrew win his national title when the collegiate championship is televised on the CBS Sports Network on November 11th and again on November 18th. Andrew will also compete in the Timber Sports Rookie World Championship next spring. He's going to try to be the first American ever to win. If you'd like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.